As most everyone knows, I love to fish. My dad took me trout fishing in the streams of Unicoi County from the time I was a young boy. And when we started planning our outdoor adventures for this month, I knew I wanted to get out on the water and experience something I had tried as a teenager, but something I have never done in a boat, and that is fly fish on the Holston River. The Holston River is one of the premier trout streams in America, and the South Holston River Fly Shop guides on this river 363 days a year. Today we're going to be out on the water with Matt Champion, and he's a champion when it comes to guiding you on this river when you want to catch trout. It's as uh, close to going out west as you can get without going out west. If I don't wear you out, you're not tired by the end of the day, and you haven't learned anything, then I haven't done my job. And what we're trying to do is fish these little pockets figure out where the fish are, if they're laying in the deeper water, on the banks, or it's beautiful scenery down there. Oh here, God, right? it's beautiful. This water's beautiful. See, if you got a good drift that's kind of going about the same, I'm going a little bit slower than the current. Right. So if you're, because I'm backstroking, if you keep it going kind of with the current like it mm -hmm. is right now, then you're, you've got a good drift going. There you go, let it float. You're up in the middle of that little pocket. Okay. I love to take beginners, because people that have never caught a fish on a flight rod, they get excited over every fish that they catch. What's that? That's a fish. Now just work him on up here. Little rainbow, come, ain't it? Yeah, come up and back with your rod. All right. Biggest trout I've ever caught, first one here. Whether it's a fish, you know, that's four inches long or 20 inches long, it doesn't matter. They, you know, they enjoy catching them. Oh, there he is. Oh, he got off. off. When you're fishing with a spinning rod, everything is tight line, mm -hmm. tight line, tight line, tight right. line. Well, a fly rod, you have to leave a little bit of slack so it can float with the current. And you even notice that when you hook that first fish. They feel a lot more different on a fly rod. Yeah, they do. They fight harder. You're more, it's, it's a, I'm not going to say it's more of a thinking man's game, mm -hmm. but it's a lot like the difference in between bow hunting and rifle hunting for deer. All right, Matt, we've, we're about halfway through this float trip, and we've anchored down here for a moment to change the pattern up a little bit. Why are we doing that? Well, the fish are not responding to the bugs that are on the surface quite as well as mm -hmm. what I'd like to see them do. Uh, they're not coming up, so we're going to go down near the bottom and uh, see if they're laying down there wanting to eat. Well, you can't beat the view out here, though. No, it's a gorgeous day. A little warm, but it's a beautiful day. Great scenery. All right, let's see if we can catch more trout. All right, you're running the bottom. This is kind of the, be like the worm fishing of bass. Right. Worm or jig fishing. Right. You're trying to get down on the bottom, run it right through them. You know, this, you're kind of guessing where they are. Yeah. yeah so we got a little deeper drop off here. Be a good place for a fish to be laying. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get that big man so it rolls that line upstream mm -hmm. so it immediately starts sinking. That, oh. that was a fish. That was a soft take, but that was a fish. Well, I've caught trout on fly rods before mm -hmm. up in smaller streams. Yeah. We were using live bait. Yeah. And it's a whole different game. It is. The whole key is to try to get to the bottom. Right. Try to get to where the fish are. But sometimes if you're running shallower and more weight, if they're light taken, you know, like we've had a few of them that just kind of went did 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 yeah. You see that better with the more weight because it's more in direct contact with the indicator. But with the other way, with less weight and more uh, and more length, you get more of a free float. Right. They move around a little bit more. All right, well, we're nearing the end of our float trip here on the South Holston River. And Matt, I want to thank you for helping out a novice catch a couple of nice trout today. You're welcome. All right. Folks, if you want to get out here and have a great outdoor adventure and catch some fish, South Holston River is the place, and the South Holston River Fly Shop is the place you need to check out. They can help you out 363 days out of the year. And I want to thank everybody, Matt Champion and all the guys yeah. up there at South Holston River Fly Shop. It is a great time out on the river. He's and been talking about it I've, ever since. I have been having a blast. <laughs> i got to go back and do that again. i got to yeah. do that again because I love catching fish. Caught five that day. Take your boys. But you 
want to go to and we are going to give you an opportunity for either a half day or a full day float trip. All you got to be is caller number 11 at that number right there at the bottom of the screen. And if we, if you are caller number 11, we're going to get you set up with Matt and they're going to take you up on the South mm. Holston River and you're going to get to float all day. If you beautiful, want to. beautiful scenery. Oh my And we're goodness. going to give this one away and remember end of the month we're bundling all these outdoor adventures together for one big giveaway but if you want to win today be caller number 11 right there at the bottom of the screen.